this year, uh, lost time incident rate has been reduced by uh, more than 20%, which is really good. That equates to more than 10 serious injuries that, that did not happen. This comes on top of a reduction of 50% in the previous two years and 70% over five years. So our strategy of learning from incidents and near misses, sharing lessons learned and acting upon those lessons to avoid repeat incidents is working. The results are good and we are avoiding injuries. If we don't maintain that focus on safety, an incident has the potential to happen. One of our key risks is exposure to road traffic accidents, both in the, the way we transport commodities. We cover more than 300 million kilometres a year. Our staff and our commodities are exposed to road traffic accidents, so we've had a focus this year on preventing those. Our road safety campaign is very comprehensive. It addresses lots of issues. The tagline we're using is staying alive, but we look at it from two perspectives. The first is, what, what actions can we take to reduce the, the likelihood of a road traffic accident occurring? And secondly, what actions can we take to reduce the injury consequences if a road accident does occur? For instance, the seatbelt campaign is aimed at all business travellers. It is now an expectation, written into our employment contracts, that everybody wears their seatbelt on every business trip. We're installing in-vehicle monitoring systems in all of the 350-odd vehicles that we have across the world. These monitor driver behaviours. Other things to prevent a road accident occurring are, are driver training. So we're training our drivers to and defensive driving techniques. Also uh, avoiding night driving, ensuring that drivers don't drive when fatigued, so managing their driving hours. While we try and do as much as we can to control safety within the terminal, our greatest exposure being logistics is actually on the road where service is provided by third-party transporters. There has been some minimum guidelines which has been developed by the group which is now implemented and executed by the teams locally. It's basically a two-phased approach. One is we get to know the company on a very high level through an online questionnaire. The second phase is a show me due diligence process where one of us physically goes to the site. We have a look at three main areas. One is the transport company itself. Does it have all the statutory requirements to operate as a transporter carrying the goods that we commonly convey? Secondly is the equipment itself. Uh, we have a look at uh, is there preventative and breakdown maintenance processes in place to ensure that the trucks always fit for purpose. Uh, coupled to that is the IVMS system uh, to ensure that the speed limits are, are complied to in transit. Boom. Then the third critical area is the driver itself. We look at competency, experience, uh, is he medically fit to operate the vehicle and then there's other administrative checks and balances that one does. We've had a number of incidents where loads have shifted en route, uh, either because the drivers had to take evasive action or braked heavily and the, the loads have either moved on the truck or in some cases come off. When we looked into this, we found that there was no real guidance on how to secure the loads that we carry. The copper cathodes, the, the copper blisters and other commodities that are pretty specialised. So we've developed some robust guidelines along that which requires every cargo uh, that is put on to be independently secured. And the areas that we look at is basically if you're carrying metal, is to increase the friction between the metal and the metal surface. Second thing is we like to secure each bundle or each uh, bag independently so that it's not uh, dependent on the other. Thirdly, we like to secure the cargo uh, or cover the cargo so that it's not uh, exposed to the elements from a security and from a quality point of view. While we can reduce our risk of having a road traffic accident, the best way to avoid a road traffic accident is to take um, commodities off the road and put them on the train. For every train that, that moves, it takes 40 trucks off the road. So we're here in the Copper Belt, we're looking to maximise the commodity that is carried by rail rather than going by truck. Our motto here in Zambia, Umunwe Umo Tauselenda. Loosely translated is a single finger cannot pick up anything, so it shows our interdependency on each other.
So our, our safety record is improving, that's good. Fewer people are being injured, but we can't be complacent. We work in a high hazard industry and there's always the risk of an incident occurring. So we try and maintain a chronic sense of unease and so that people recognise that although they might have had a safe day, a safe week, a safe month or even longer, there's the risk is always there, so we never get complacent. Before we start a job, what's the most important thing? Safety! At Trafigura, we expect everybody to come to work and go home safely. Not only just on the day, but for a whole career. Before we leave the gate, what's the most important thing? Stay alive! There's no reason that any of our employees or any of the contractors that work for us should be injured at work. And that's what we're striving for. If you want a workplace that's injury-free, start to me! <laughs> okay.